friends, welcome to Editor. I welcome you all in the rapid session of general awareness and we'll be discussing the most important current affairs from 21st to 23rd of May 2021. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and join our Telegram channel for the free data and the notification of our session. We are providing you daily exam booster of general awareness, ESI current affairs, report and indices friends. So superstar of the session are Arpita Pandey, Anshu Tanwar, Jagan Prashant, Anjali, Pooja Avasti, Anuraja, Nilesh Suryavanshi, Mishra Aditi and Vashik Nayan who have given the right answer to the homework question below my video and thank you so much friends for replying there. So your question number one says who among the following has been appointed as the CEO of National Asset Reconstruction Company and the right answer to this question is option number D friends that is Padma Kumar M. Nair. So Padma Kumar M. Nair the chief general manager of stressed asset resolution at group at SBI now friends will head the National Asset Reconstruction Company that is the proposed bad bank for taking over all the stress asset for lend of lenders. Now friends, before discussing what is a bad bank, let's discuss what is a bad loan and what is a good loan. Okay, what is a bad loan and what is a good loan? Let's discuss this. Now you all know that bank provide loan to its customers, right? And in return, the, cust the bank receives the principal value as well as the interest value from the customers. That loan in which the bank is getting the principal value as well as the interest value is known as a good loan. And in case friends, if the bank is not getting back its principal value or its interest value, that is known as a bad loan. Now, if a bank is having so many bad loans, obviously the bank will go in loss. You all know. Therefore, a bad bank is being made. Okay. Therefore, a bad bank is being made. It will buy all these bad loans from a bank so that the bank could not go in so much loss. And you know, there are recovery, there are chances of recovery for a bank. Okay. So the bad bank will buy all the bad loans from the bank and it will think or it will uh, find solutions for recovering these bad loans. I hope friends this much thing is clear to you. So let's move forward towards a question number two. Which of the following Indian Navy ship has been decommissioned from service friends? Okay, your right answer to this question is INS Rajput. That is option number B. So INS Rajput has been decommissioned from service. Friends, first destroyer of Indian Navy. Now what is a destroyer? Destroyer is a long ship or a long warship you can say. Okay, of Indian Navy, INS Rajput has been decommissioned on 21st of May. It has been decommissioned from which place? From Naval Dockyard, friends, Vishakhapatnam. Okay, this thing is important. And INS Rajput was the lead ship of Kazim class destroyer, friends. It was built by East Wild USSR. This is important for your question, examination. Okay, this type of question can come in your examination that recently INS Rajput has been decommissioned. It was built by which of the following? So, erstwhile USSR, it was built by erstwhile USSR and was commissioned on 4th of May 1980 to Indian Navy. I hope friends this is clear. Which of the following companies has launched all electric motorcycle brand Livewire? So, Livewire was launched by Trim Motorcycle Limited, Honda Motor Company, the Cathy, your Harley Davidson or Suzuki. So the right answer is option number D that is Harley Davidson. Let's discuss what the news says. Harley Davidson friends has launched an all electric motorcycle brand that is Live Wire. Okay. Now the company has announced that friends this Live Wire is a separate electric vehicle focused division and its aim is is to attract the next generation of younger and more environmentally conscious riders. Okay, so this is a separate brand which is built by Harley Davidson. So Livewire has also planned to incorporate and develop French technology that will be applicable to Harley Davidson electric motorcycles in future. So about the takeaway for the examination about Harley Davidson friends headquarters are in USA and name of CEO and chairman is Dorchin Z. I hope friends this is also clear. So your question number four says world's largest iceberg has broken from which of the following places? Argentina, Iceland, Antarctica, Greenland or Alaska? So the right answer is option number C that is Antarctica. Let's discuss what happened. So friends a huge ice block. This is the huge ice block friends named A76. 
okay it has been broken it has been broken off from western antarctica region this is the western antarctica region it has been broken from western antarctica region and is floating in, in the weddell sea okay so it is the largest iceberg you have to remember this and it is around 170 meters in length and 25 170 kilometers long and 25 kilometer wide friends and the total area of this iceberg is 4320 kilometers square kilometers okay friends it is larger than the spanish island that is majorca which is 3640 kilometers square so it is more larger than this also i hope friends this is clear to you so let's move forward towards our next news recently friends india has renewed its mou on military cooperation and maritime issue with which of the following countries indonesia russia oman france and china now we'll play with these options indonesia friends capital jakarta okay now indonesia and india has a bilateral exercise naming garud shakti now with this garuda shakti i can link one more thing that we have recently discussed in previous video that garuda aerospace has built a white knight drone which has been tested by isro for providing medicine disinfectants etc now a link with isro headquarters of isro indian space research organization are in bangalore and the name of the chairman is friends dr k sivan i hope this much is clear If I talk about Russia, friends, capital of Russia is Moscow and Saint Petersburg. You know this. And the bilateral exercise between India and Russia is Indra. If I talk about Oman, friends, the capital of Oman is Muscat. And the bilateral exercise between India and Oman is Nasim Al Bar. Okay, Nasim Al Bar. If I talk about France, friends, then capital of France is Paris, and the bilateral exercise between India and France is Varuna, 20, Varuna, and this Varuna 2021 has recently took place in the Arabian Sea from 25th to 20, from 25th to 27th of April 2021. This all, this thing you know, as we have discussed in our previous videos. If we talk about China, friends. If we talk about China, then China capital Beijing and the bilateral exercise of India and China is hand in hand. I hope this is clear, friends, and the right answer to this question is option number C, that is Oman. Let's discuss what the news says. India and Oman, friends, renewed its memorandum of understanding on military cooperation as well as its maritime issue on May twentieth, twenty twenty one. So take away for the examination about Oman friends capital is Muscat and the currency is Omani Real. I hope this news is clear. So let's move forward towards our question number six. National Anti-Terrorism Day is observed on Dash every year. So the date is friends National Anti-Terrorism Day is observed on twenty first of May every year. Okay, so National Anti-Terrorism Day is observed on twenty first of May. Okay, the day is observed to commemorate the death anniversary of Prime Minister of India Rajiv Gandhi, friends. Okay, what is the aim of this day? Why we are celebrating this day? The aim is to spread message of peace, harmony, human kind, and promote unity among the people. So, friends, about Rajiv Gandhi, let's discuss two three point points about him. He was appointed as the sixth prime minister of the country and served the nation from 1984 to 1989, friends. And one additional information which I want to discuss with you is Mr. Gandhi was assassinated on May 21, 1991. Therefore, we are dis uh, we are celebrating this day, Anti-Terrorism Day, on 21st of May. He was. Assassinated by human bomb friends in Tamil Nadu. If we talk about Tamil Nadu, okay, a state Tamil Nadu is being present here. So if we talk about Tamil Nadu friends, we have to remember the National Park of Tamil Nadu. All the national parks with the name Malai is from Tamil Nadu, like Mudu Malai, your Anna Malai, your Gulf of Manar, your Gundi National Park, and your Mukarthi National Park are the national park of Tamil Nadu. This is how we will be discussing the national parks also in the session, and I'll make you learn, revise. everything within the video within the session your question number 7 says friends jagannath pahadiya passed away friends he was the chief minister of which of the following states your tamil nadu okay let's discuss about the national park of tamil nadu again friends all the national park with the name malai is from tamil nadu like mudhu malai your anna malai your mukurthi national park your gulf of manar and your gundi national park are the national park of tamil nadu 
सेकंड ऑप्शन इज मध्य प्रदेश बांधवगढ़ माधव पन्ना पेंच सतपुड़ा वन बिहार फॉसल कुनो एंड कान्हा फ्रेंड्स आर द नेशनल पार्क ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश इफ यू टॉक अबाउट असम फ्रेंड्स देन बिब्रू साइकोवा मानस नामेरी ओरांग एंड काजीरंगा नेशनल पार्क आर द नेशनल पार्क ऑफ योर असम स्टेट If you talk about Rajasthan, friends, then Kevla Dev National Park, which is the Bharatpur Bird Sanctuary, which is also known as Bharatpur Bird Sanctuary. Kevla Dev National Park, Sariska Tiger Reserve, Ranthambhore Tiger Desert, and Daraha National Park are the national park of your Rajasthan. And if I talk about Kerala, friends, all the national park with the word, with the name Shola belongs to Kerala. That is Annamudi Shola, Matthi Ketan Shola, Pampadum Shola, Iravi Kulam. Okay. Barrier and Silent Valley National Park are the National Park of Kerala. This is how we will revise all the National Parks. The state will come. We'll revise all the National Park as well as I'll be providing you the list of wildlife sanctuaries and the National Park soon. So the right answer to this question is friends. Option number D, that is Rajasthan. So let's discuss what the news says. Veterinary Congress leader and former Rajasthan Chief Minister Jagannath Pahadia friends passed away. Okay, so let's discuss about our next news. World biggest nuclear power project has been started between Russia and which of the following countries? So the right answer to this question is this nuclear project is taking place between Russia and China. Option number D, China capital Beijing and India and China is bilateral exercise name hand in hand. I hope friends all these things are learned. Now friends, let's discuss what the news says. Russia and China will hold. Okay, a ceremony of the biggest nuclear energy project. Okay, you have to remember this point number one. Now, four high project nuclear power plants will be built in two cities, two Chinese cities. Chinese president, that is Xi Jinping, and your Russian counterpart, that is Vladimir Putin, will be having a video link in Beijing of inaugurating or witnessing this project. Okay, friends, both the countries has signed this project in 2018 also and now they have agreed to jointly build unit 7 and unit 8 of Taiwan nuclear power plant and unit 3 and unit 4 of Yudapu nuclear power plant and the total cost will be 20 billion yuan that is 3 million dollars. I hope friends this, this much is clear so you have to remember Russia and China is building the world biggest nuclear power plant. So let's discuss the next question. Who among the following has been appointed as the next ambassador of India to Suriname friends? So the right answer to this question is option number D. That is S. Balachandran. So friends, S. Balachandran, presently Council General of India in Zafan, that is in Sri Lanka, has been appointed as the next ambassador of India to the Republic of Suriname. Now one more question can be asked from this, uh, you know, this news that is what is the capital and currency of Suriname? This question can also be asked in your examination. So please remember to take away for the examination. The capital is Paramaribo and the currency is Suriname dollar. I hope friends this much is clear to you. So your question number 10 says environmentalist Sundarlal Bahuguna passed away friends he was honored with which of the following awards so Sundarlal Bahuguna was honored with Padma Vibhushan award that is your option number B so when well known environmentalist and Gandhian Sundarlal Bahuguna friends passed away okay along with a local woman he founded the Chipku movement now Chipku movement was founded in 1970s friends to prevent the felling of trees okay felling of trees and he also coined one slogan that is ecology is the permanent economy and he was also honored with friends Padma Vibhushan award so please remember all these things so your revision test time your question number one says Dash Institute has developed a new multiplex RT-PCR kit for detection of various mutant strains of COVID-19 and your question number two is world hypertension days observed on Dash May you have to tell the date over here every year and dash is the theme for 2021 so friends with this thank you so much thanks for watching i hope you like the video and if you do like please hit the like button and i'll meet you in the next video bye bye take care friends